Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do um, a video about the email that I sent to Rutgers University President Jonathan Holloway, who happens to be the first black president of Rutgers University, which is fabulous. And I am asking him in my email, I kept the actual email short and sweet, but, and to the point, but I am asking him in the email to please, please help me save my life, save my lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers, and help me end the Get Sarah Brush Killed industry, um, which is particularly prevalent amongst law schools and in particular law school journals. I've been the subject of late of many law school journal articles and I'll do another video that's just about this Get Sarah Brush Killed industry that has particular manifestation in law schools. Um, and so these law schools, they've basically invented a new genre of law journal article, which is the death threat as race baiting dystopian fantasy. So as you can imagine, it is very troubling and disturbing and upsetting to be the subject of a journal article like this. Um, it amounts to a death threat against me. It puts my life in grave danger. I can only interpret it. I can only construe it as a death threat, as an attempt to drive me to suicide and incite my murder and destroy me, destroy my life, destroy my livelihood, destroy my career. Make sure that I can never get a job in academia, which I'm sure I'll never be able to do. I will probably never be able to support myself. So why are these law school professors trying so hard to get me killed and destroy me and it's because I am the proof that their careers and ideologies are utter bigotry and stupidity and their careers and ideologies are based on woke intersectional feminism and critical race theory and of course I'm the entirely innocent victim an innocent anti-racism Yale grad student and I'm the entirely innocent victim of the living or not being well black hate crime hoax at Yale so there was a recent manifestation of this Get Sarah Brush Killed industry, which is particularly pre prevalent in law schools. So this recent manifestation that I noticed, I actually, I Google myself pretty regularly to keep tabs on the defamation against me. And um, I don't know why sometimes these law journal articles, it takes a while for them to pop up on Google when I search for my name and I think I'm actually being um, silenced by Google at this point. So anyway, um, that's another video, but uh, I'll do a series of videos about this and related subjects. So anyway, so I found this other Law Journal article, this latest entry in the Get Sarah Brush Killed industry, and this one is published by American University. It's the American University Law Review. It was written uh, by two woke intersectional feminists who um, bear a particular hatred for me and obviously want me dead. Uh, because I undermine their careers and their ideologies, just my very existence. So they just want me dead, basically. Um, so they wrote this disgusting and ridiculous law journal article, and it is it is absolutely a death threat against me, uh, and it is absolutely a race baiting dystopian fantasy. It is asinine. It is ridiculous. It is ludicrous. Um, it's it's hard to believe that this is what passes as scholarship these days. So the two professors who wrote this, the one is named Jamila Jefferson, and she's a professor at the University of Missouri, Kansas City Law School, I believe. And the other professor who wrote this uh, is at Rutgers. And her name is Taja Nia Henderson, and she's a Rutgers Law School professor. 
and I believe she's also a dean. I thought it said that she was the dean of Rutgers Graduate School, but I might be mistaken about that. But anyway, so please, please know that Tajania Henderson of Rutgers and Jamila Jefferson of University of Missouri, Kansas City, they are both lying bigots and frauds. They, the entirety of their scholarship should be considered a living well black race hoax. Um, they should both resign in abject shame for what they did to me. They basically, I took a look at their Twitter feeds and they basically have been traipsing around the country, um, eating out on the Get Sarah Brash Killed industry. This is their bread and butter seemingly. They've made a career now at this point of trying to get me killed and they've been traipsing around the U.S. to various law schools and I mean I'm sure that since COVID that some of this has been remote but still um, trying to get me killed and make moral outrage industry money off of my corpse. So they're both evil charlatans and frauds. Um, please don't support them in any way shape or form. But anyway, so I was particularly dismayed when I discovered this latest incarnation of the Get Sarah Brash Killed industry in law schools because Tajania Henderson is a law school professor at Rutgers. So I actually wrote an email to Rutgers University professor Jonathan Hall, I mean president, excuse me, Jonathan Holloway. I'm sure he's a professor there as well, but he's, he's the president. Actually, he's probably, he doesn't probably teach. Um, yeah, he probably doesn't teach at all, um, being the president. But anyway, so, uh, so Jonathan Holloway was at Yale. And I know him, and he knows me, and I worked with him. And I worked with him specifically on an anti-racism conference that was in, to honor Joyce Mitchell Cook, the first African-American woman in the U.S. to obtain a PhD in philosophy, which she obtained at Yale. So he knows me. He knows that I'm an entirely innocent anti-racism Yale graduate student. Uh, he knows I would never in a million years engage in racism. He knows that I'm the entirely innocent victim of the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale just because it's completely preposterous to suggest that I'm a genocidal villain who lynches black students at Yale via the Yale campus police. So anyway, he knows all of this and so I am so hopeful, I'm really hopeful that he will actually listen to me and that he will help me end the Get Sarah Brash Killed industry, that he will actually ask Professor Tajania Henderson to retract her asinine and ridiculously stupid American University Law Review article. Um, I'm just hoping that he will help me. I'm just hoping so much that he will help me. So usually when I've done this in the past, I sent an email to the vice president of Princeton, Hillary Parker, asking her to help me save my life by asking Amani, Professor Amani Perry, with whom I also worked at Yale in an anti-racism conference. She also knows me, knows that I'm the entirely innocent victim of the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale, and her protege, Tia Nancy Wilson, another lying bigot and fraud uh, who pushes living while black race hoaxes for an industry. This is another video I need to do. We have to end the cottage industries of pushing living while black race hoaxes. They have to end, they need to end, they're going to end, I'm going to end them. So Tia Nancy Wilson is a new faculty member at UC Hastings Law School, and I believe it was the Constitutional Law Review Quarterly or something along that lo those lines, and he published also what can only be construed as a death threat against me, as um, a race-baiting dystopian fantasy. It was absolutely ridiculous. It's completely actionable defamation. I sent an email to the Dean and Chan Chancellor of UC Hastings Law School, and I also had sent an email to the Vice President of Princeton, Hillary Parker, and saying, please help me, please help me save my life, please help me save my human and civil rights career, please help me. Uh, so uh, please help me end the defamation and abuse and harassment and the, and the Get 
Sarah Brush Killed Industry. So um, I was never received a response from Vice President Hillary Parker of Princeton and was very promptly blocked on Twitter by Princeton University. So the entire university, Princeton University, and one of my readers for my Yale PhD dissertation is a Princeton professor, um, an amazing person who had been at Berkeley before and with whom I had worked when she was at Berkeley. I won't get into that now, but anyway, so Princeton University is so terrified of what I have to say of me telling the truth about how Professor Imani Perry, the lying bigot and fraud, whose entire scholarship should be construed as a living world black race hoax, how she, even though she 100% knew I was completely innocent, she participated in the witch hunt against me at Yale that almost got me killed. So because, again, I'm the proof that woke intersectional feminism is utter bigotry and stupidity. This is why, this is absolutely why they're doing this to me. So anyway, so Princeton University is a fake joke university uh, because they are trying to stop the truth from getting out. And that is the most ridiculous and asinine thing that a university could possibly do. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's basically what I wanted to say. To wanted, what I wanted to say, I have not heard back yet from Jonathan Holloway, the Rutgers University president, the first black president of Rutgers University, which I always said that that was amazing and fantastic and I'm so thrilled for him and I know him from Yale and I worked with him on the Joyce Mitchell Cook conference. So I'm just very hopeful that he will help me. I'm just really hopeful and desperate that someone will help me because no one will help me. And everybody's just hanging around, hoping that I'll kill myself before they finally have to be held accountable for what they did to me. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Um, have a great night, you guys. I'll have all my fundraising links below. Please donate to my legal fund so I can start suing some of these evil, evil monsters and stop the Get Sarah Brosh Killed industry. I'll have my PayPal me, GoFundMe, and a direct link to Randazza Legal Group so you can donate directly to my fabulous attorneys if you so desire. All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.